Hi guys and girls, Paul Burt, Backyard Engineering here. Um, another little project which I've got on the go at the moment. Right. Basically, I started uh, making this gearbox. As I've been pointed out, it's uh, currently upside down, but I'm just seeing where it's uh, sitting. So, uh, to line this gearbox up, I need to get uh, a manual V8 with a crank in it with a release bearing. So, this is my pit, which uh, I use for storage in the garage. Um, roughly here, there is a 3.5 V8 automatic. And at the back end here, underneath all this crap in the pit, is an M60 3 litre V8 manual, which I'm going to have to dig out to uh, be able to line this thing up. So the, the plan for the next half hour or so is to clear away all this crap and um, see if I can get it out. Um... Okie dokie, I shall add to this video as I go along. Paul Burt Backyard Engineering, please like, like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, thanks guys. Paul Burt, back again. So, stage one of the operation complete. The next stage, obviously the first stage, was just being able to get access to the pit. Next stage is getting it out. Uh, okie dokie. Okie dokie. So, pit planks have removed. So we've got 3.5 V8 automatic there, which I took out of, I uh, uh, can't really see it because of the white balance, but my Granada is out there when I swapped it over to a manual. And underneath this cover is an M62 3 litre V8, which um, I've had on an engine stand and it's been sat there for about six years now. It's the uh, first time I've actually looked at this in about six years. So, uh, well, as you can see, the, the state and condition of the 3.5 is very furry, like the the engine and gearbox were which were under here so uh, right let's see what this looks like underneath this cover if this cover will come off as I say this is the first time I've actually been at this end of my pit in years years and years and years In all, doesn't actually look to be in that bad a condition. But uh, what's this? This is uh, some kind of valve unit. So uh, this engine I took out of an E34 530 manual. Um, engine's only actually covered about 4,000 miles from brand new. But uh, it's worthless, it's scrap, nobody wants it. So next thing that I need to do is find some way of getting it out of here because it was actually lifted into there before I actually had the garage here. Okie dokie, I shall add to this video once I start pulling it out. Okie dokie, so far so good. I've got it up that high but I'm at full extension on my ratchet strap at the moment. Uh, I jacked the roof up with uh, the engine hoist taking the strain there and this was starting to bend at this end so I put a bottle jack on top of the gas cylinder and that allowed it to take it. I reckon if I've repositioned this so I've got that extra foot and a half it will come up uh, failing that I'm going to have to take the cradle oh no hold on uh, can I take that I can take that pin out can't I and that will come out and leave the engine hoist where it is yes that is how I shall do it I shall remove the crane the cradle off the engine 
and get that out at a later date. Well, later date, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, Okie dokie, Paul Burt uh, signing out yet again and I shall continue this video. Okie dokie. Well, there she is. I got her out with the pit. I got her on her nose. I uh, changed some of the rotten pit planks. I need to get some more of these scaffolding boards. Uh, how many do I need? Uh, about 10 of them. 10, 12 foot scaffolding boards should uh, replace all my wooden planks. So the next thing to do is I could have sworn that I had left a release bearing in this engine, but I obviously took it out. So I'm going to have to quickly machine something up on the lathe over there to uh, carry the nose of the gearbox. So uh, yeah, she's out. So uh, the next video will uh, show it all together with a bit of luck, ready for welding. Uh, Okie dokie, this is Paul Burt. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks guys. Layers.